tonight from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys versus Jimmy Garoppolo and the Las Vegas Raiders. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Dallas Cowboys. A clash of two of the more fervent fan bases around. The Cowboys and the Raiders are underway. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to play? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever. And that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Here's Pollard again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. Well, able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Now here comes Abdullah on the return. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their quarterback standing at 6-2 from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. If you have coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Here we 
A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. To throw, it's Garoppolo. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch. Really nice yardage. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have a Raiders first down. No problem there. They get the first by plenty on fourth and inches. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So the drive will indeed continue. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And some space here. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one, 28 yards on the ground. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run-pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Well, they've got it down to the three, but now this is third and goal. To throw is Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, 
they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Carlson able to put this one through, and the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. A first down throw for Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll be out right at the 35. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. I'm here all day. Prescott to throw it. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Play action now, Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he will have a Cowboys first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Prescott. This one swung out to Vaughn. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Robert Spillane able to bring him down. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, Let's pass go. rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Mark makes it very, very Mark difficult Mark. for him in that situation. On second and nine, Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 20-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the red zone now, Prescott. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit in the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Prescott yet again. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw to the defense. They had no answer for that right there. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. A 10-play drive that time, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They'll start on the ground here on first down. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards, but also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 55, Mike 55. Garoppolo looks to throw. Hey, 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 hey. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. 
And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility. So good with run after catch. Only in the first quarter. So they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep. Garoppolo on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And it's complete to Adams. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 20-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Running it with Jacobs. 59 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Hey, what's up? Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close. Sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. From the two now, second and goal. Hey, let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. They'll drop to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Garoppolo looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down.
Here we go. 180. Got you. I got you, son. I got you, son. Check. 55 to Mike. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams from three yards out. And the Raiders' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is now 10-7. to so that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, got, one I big got. play, though, What's gets them tight. right back tight up to right. that level. What's tight? Tight is right. <laughs> First down, Prescott. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Ten seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Check, check. <laughs> they run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Go second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Coming up on a second and six. Going to run again here with Pollard. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 41. Prescott off play action. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield equally good an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten Prescott from the gun he's gonna find Gallup here complete and he's gonna be taken down just shy of the 35 
They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And this is going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And that is no good. Oh, he did well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll get this down to the 48-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing. Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Now a give here to Pollard. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll run left with Pollard. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Coming to you. Coming to you. 14's the mic. 14's the mic. After the fumble recovery, it's Garoppolo. 
The left side throw complete to Adams. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here we go, here we go. Second and seven. Watch the screen. Pass. Check, 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 check. Play action. Garoppolo. That would into the hands of Adams downfield. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 37. A gain there of 21 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And this is caught inside the five. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 33 yards that time. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback Johnson. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. Here we go, here we go. From the two now, second and goal. Here we go, here we go. My God, my God. Hey, Jacobs. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Here we go, here we go, this here Cowboy go. defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. We want it. Come to my Jacobs again. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A touchdown run there from a yard out as his guys are able to extend their lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Carlson now to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Right now they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Working with his second and four. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 42. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 42-yard line to throw is Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Here's second and five now from the 37. And again, it's Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 19. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try to get upfield and gain additional yardage. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he's got it. Touchdown. Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. 
in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Here we go, here we go. Eight yards to go on second down. Garoppolo now. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That catch puts him right at 100 yards receiving now, and it also gives him a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. First down, Garoppolo. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. First down throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot in the end zone and made it pay off. Carlson on for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now Dak Prescott and the offense heading back onto the field. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. On first and 10, Prescott. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Looking to throw, Prescott. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we see another pitching catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Third and short yardage, Prescott got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To the air again, Prescott. Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. 
Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Hey, pick your game up. Final play of the half, Prescott. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon God and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang at Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Jacobs will get the third quarter started. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Oh, yeah. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Drop for a loss there on a nice effort by Osa Adigizua. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out. I don't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. We got four. We got four. To throw, it's Garoppolo. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. So five yards here, five on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. He hits Adams, complain. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Watch the run, watch the run. 
Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. 69 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. Four yards remain for second down. Counter play with Jacobs. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Here we go. 55. No chance. 55 is my guy. 55. That's trash. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. And his throw is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Flush to his right. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the seven. Come on. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Las Vegas sending out their punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight end's right. Tight end's right. Four down. Four down. Six. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll run with Pollard. And they'll get him down up past the 15. 40 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but 
There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. Prescott. Over the middle complete. It's Ferguson. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and a yard. What we got? What we got? What we got? Fives the mic. Fives the mic. Let's go, dude. Run for Pollard. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Here's Pollard again. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. On play action, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 26-yard line. A run with Vaughn out of the gun, down right around the 25. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle, but give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Pollard. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Now Prescott. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Max Crosby in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They cover everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get him back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance. So that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot.
The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Out comes Devontae Adams in the offense for their next drive. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jacobs. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw again on second down, Garoppolo. Short completion, just four yards, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Mike 55, Mike 55. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. This is caught. Touchdown, Raiders! Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Raiders go up by two touchdowns. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off as you know 
which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And out now come the Cowboys. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Play action now, Prescott. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Here's Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. It's our time, it's our time guys. It's our time. By five, On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. My five, my five. They run straight ahead, and he loses the football a second time. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover.
Second and short now following the fumble. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Prescott to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 31-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's the option, running right. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four go, yards go. on third down. Here's Prescott. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. This will be from 49 yards out. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Get off the field. Mike, Mike, 55. Mike. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second down, Jacobs once more. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. The 
Raiders on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 11. Garoppolo. Steps away to his left. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem scrambling for 22 and a first. Now that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looked like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third and then the tables turned. Jacob's going to try the middle and give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. And it's complete to Adams. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. A gain there of 30 big ones. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run, and the football, right on the money. Here we go. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Check 31, check 31. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make play on his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Here we go, here we go. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. The big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. This drive's taking more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. Now they're likely for a field goal attempt. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. I remember being taught that cliches have become so for a reason. A lot of times they're true, right? What's that they used to tell us about letting sleeping dogs lie? Well, this one wasn't sleeping. Maybe it was just slumbering a little bit. But taking that gamble there, you've got the lead. You may have ignited them now they stopped you. That's exactly right. If you take the points here, you don't shift momentum necessarily on that play. You probably just did. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. 
Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. First down, Prescott. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Throwing, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. So just three yards on the completion there. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. He'll drop to throw. This one swung out to Vaughn. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. You end up getting really good yardage out of it, but it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Desperation time, Prescott on fours. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now and they convert there on fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Prescott yet again. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. On second down, it's Vaughn. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. To throw is Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Vaughn. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Lock the ball, progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down?
So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Now a throw here to his running back. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. On second down, Jacobs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point in the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback hey, no time to be a hero we're not going to throw it here just eat up that clock and if you have the ball they can't score so it's Raider football as we get you reset they've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off They're not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten once again, it's Jacobs, and he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. handoff this is Jacobs and he'll get it down here to the 43 the Cowboys gonna use their second timeout now that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. Mike. Second and 11 now. Let's put them on the buses. Let's put that team on the bus. 
Here's Jacobs. And room there to work it inside the 25. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So it's a win here for the Raiders, and it was Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, who really played well. Yeah, he really threw the ball well, didn't he? Well over 300 yards passing, hit on three touchdown passes, and he's delivering the ball in rhythm all game long. for us for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew I'm Brandon Gordon you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports for more find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL with that we say good night from AT&T Stadium
just win. Play hard. Try not to make mistakes. But don't worry about mistakes because there's only one thing that counts. Just win.